STEM, science, technology, engineering, math. The Kid Wind Project is basically getting kids interested specifically in wind energy, but renewable energy. Michael Arquin is the gentleman who started Kid Wind, and he used to be a sixth grade science teacher in Massachusetts. This year, GE became a sponsor, and that's one of the things, Kid Wind's always looking for sponsors, how do we spread this message more? GE offered to have their engineers come in and give a presentation. And so they brought in all the materials that the whole fourth grade could do it in groups of three. So even though the whole fourth grade all got to do it, they all got to make their wind turbines in groups, then we said, okay, look, you know, you've done this in school, now do you want to take it further to the competition? We took the 15 that we had here and we had our own mini competition here at Forest Park and then the top three from that we had gone and represent Forest Park at GE and they were judged on their knowledge of wind energy, their knowledge of the design, how much they kept track, what data did they use, why did they make changes, and how much energy their turbine produced. My fourth grade students did well considering they were the only elementary team competing against 21 teams in total. All the others were middle school teams and they came in 6th, 11th, and 14th out of those 21 teams. I think that the thing that would stand out is just like the amount of effort that went into it and how much fun it was at the end, seeing what progress you've made. The STEM related designs that the kids were exposed to was inquiry, engineering design, earth science, physical science, so um, just the whole design process, how am I keeping track of data, what were my manipulated variables, dependent variables. Earth science, you know, what's what's making the winds? How is it being powered? The physical science, the electricity that's being generated, and even just how is man impacting with resources, and uh, you know how the resources impact what man is doing. I learned a lot, like where the windiest place is, and how much wind power is produced in United States. A child care provider could adapt this to their own environment just by making students aware of that wind can do work. So can they can they make a pinwheel, something as simple as a pinwheel? Okay, can we make it so this pinwheel actually turns when it's put in front of a, a fan or out in the wind? Uh, it could even be something similar. So instead of making a, uh, a pinwheel turn, can I make a boat move? Like you fill a rain gutter with water and let the kids make a boat little sail on it and move. The thing that's often missed is that students learn by failing and kids I think don't often have the opportunity to fail. One of my students that made it to the third place this year, uh, the first few designs that she made didn't turn at all and you know she just kept <laughs> troubleshooting. Okay so I tried this, well all right that I know what not to do, I'm gonna do something else. Okay well guess what I'm not gonna do that either. I learned that even if you try and you don't do very good, you still gotta keep working harder. Even if you don't think you're gonna win, it's still fun to have the experience. Let them try, let them fail, and then talk them through and let the learning take place. Okay, why didn't it work? I just feel like the more you try and the more that you keep going and seeing what works and what doesn't work, then you get the right, then you get it right and you achieve. Just the hands-on, the doing, you know, I find a lot of kids, uh, they just don't have the opportunity to do that. And so just give them the materials and let them learn and they have their own ideas about what will work and sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. And either is okay to say, okay, this worked, now I know that works, or this didn't work, and okay, I know that doesn't work, next time I'm not gonna choose that idea.